Oh, I missed you. Oh, thanks, but I miss you too, man. You're such a good boy. You always, oh, thank you. I mean, I always, you know, supply and demand. Where were you in sunbreak, you porky little thing? Oh, I'm, you know, I have my own thing going on here where I'm selling to everyone else, but like you left me. I, I'm glad to see you're back, though. And you're chubby cheeks. Well, I mean, yeah, you got to sell all types of meat. You never know what a hunter might want. I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> you cute little jumper. I jump constantly. I, I, have you been reading my diary? And is your bow redder than I remember, you sweet little thing? Oh, yeah. I mean, how can you even see that? I haven't hunted in weeks. Pookie, I miss. That's not my name. It's Greg. Sorry, did you say something? I was talking to Pookie over there. I could have sworn you were... Were you, were you talking to me? Can you please not stand one foot on my ramp? That is really concerning me. You just... You weren't talking to me then. I don't know who you are. <laughs> anyway, I've missed you, little piggy. Aww. Oh, love. I prefer this pig to you. You shouldn't say that to your cat. Who can say where the road goes? The construction worker who built it. The architect who planned it. You're really irritating voice in my head. I want you to know that. I'm not a voice in your head. I'm a person. You just refuse to come to where I am. Oh, I thought it sounded like you were quite far away. And it is a very long distance for sound to travel. <laughs>《Commander, I'm here and I'm ready. Show me some papers and explain what they mean.》《Well, this one's a map. That one's also a map, but it fits in like a puzzle piece, so I put them on top of each other. »« Hey, what's, uh, what's the left, left side of this map?» »It's a map.» »Yeah, but, like, what's the map of the left? Like, the right bit is where we are and, like, and everything. Yeah. But, like, what's the left bit over there with the big scroll on? It looks... Should we explore that at some point?« »That's, um, that's, that's where my house is, actually. It's my private land.« <laughs> I've taken the best monsters from all over the world. You're finally ready for it. It's taken seven years, but we're on our way. We can't secure the base until that engine half's dead. You saw how effective it was at almost getting in. All right, spin that wheel. Hit me with my weapon. Oh, it's spinning. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm oh. ready. Oh. oh, you got a little bit lucky. You've ended up with switch axe, but centimeters from charge blade. <laughs> Okay, I can swax. I can do it. I can make it. I can make it breathe. I can make this weapon breathe. Well, I'm glad you said breathe because it almost sounded like something else. But I wouldn't put it past you. When two switch axes love each other very much. Oh, this this might be a long hunt. What'd you call me? You got bow. Oh, that's fine. This is world. Yeah, but you don't have any, like, a nice supply of coatings, so. That's not the hardest thing to buy a few of. The pain from gains, an exterminator of the waste. What if I don't want to do your thing? Well, then you won't get upgrades. But I like upgrades. Then do the thing. Pookie! Pookie! Pookie, get away from the fire! Pookie, what are you doing? Pookie, please! I don't know how to rescue Pookie from this awful oven-based situation I've put him in. Oh, he worked it out. He worked it out. He worked it out. He did it. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, did I get it right? Did I get it right? Instantly, instantly. Oh, oh, I Renault. No. I Renault. I'm glad you Renault. God, he's just mid feasting. This, this is the same Jagras from the opening, and he's just now finally killed it. Oh yeah, he's been waiting here, holding it in his mouth for us to come. Oh, why would you? I mean, I do like the switch axe, but I have not used one in donkey's years. What does that mean? Have you not heard that expression, donkey's years? No. What does that mean? Explain. Like it's been, it's been donkey's years. <laughs> Do what are donkeys here? What are, why do donkeys have different years? What if you're a donkey and you have years, then uh, then you it's been wild. Is it maybe donkey's ears? <laughs> like a donkey has long ears? Like I've been doing this for donkey's years means I've been doing this for a very long time. I feel like time. it should be donkey's ears and it's about the length of a donkey's ears because <laughs> Talking about donkey's ears. Because they're particularly long compared to what you might, might expect from a creature of that size. Look, the point is, we fought an Anjanaf, we made a, a, a thing fall, and now we're all successful. I'm succeeding at watching this cutscene. Ow! Anjanaf, I just wanna- I know. I could be anywhere. Any. <laughs> Ember, shut up. We could be anywhere. As long as I'm somewhere where there's food, then I'm, I'm happy. We could be anywhere. 
Are you looking for me, you little sniffy saw? Sniffy saw? Let's not, let's not say sniffy saw. That's, that's, it seems like a, a weird, like, <laughs> it's just a rude insult to an engine app. You got the scent of, buddy. You on the hunt? I, I'm the master of disguise. I've got the scent of great jagrass, personally. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. I've been pinned while trying to carve this jagrass. It's just me, a dinosaur, and a hope, and a prayer. And ideally, ideally me. I, like, I... I am a, a part of this in the greeter sense. But what about in the minor sense? Uh, well, I'm not mining currently, so I, I don't know. What are you using Clutch Claw for? We're not in Iceborne yet. <laughs> whom, 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 whom. I'm just not even touching it! You're, you're, yeah, swinging. You're, you're swinging. I'm you're swinging. swinging like, you keep being a naughty engine and whoa, this is gonna get you! Hey, man. Welcome to the quest. I'm not actually here yet. How is your travel? I'm, I've not traveled. I'm in the hub. Oh, okay. Did you get tickets okay for this, this quest? I didn't buy tickets. I just do what I want. Oh, okay. Oh, you're here. All right, travel's over. It was pretty fast. Yeah, I was. Tra yeah, good Good bit of travel. Yeah, it was, it was travelly. You didn't get any delays on your wing drake? Uh, well, I mean, it did see a squirrel at one point, but I, I fed it some nuts to distract it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I made a huge mistake. No! Uh-oh. That's not ideal. It's okay. He would never follow me down here. Oh, wow, he actually... No, he wouldn't, you're right. Follow. Okay. Well, my work here is done. Goodbye. Oh, no, 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 he's just very clever. Very clever. What is it with dinosaurs and flanking? I think they just have large flanks, as a general statement. Stop. He just hit me with his large flank. How'd it feel? Did you like it? What, what's that? That's a sound. That's how it, that's how it felt. Describing feel emotions that's with sound? Yeah, you could do that, right? Was like, are, you, are you saying it sounded like Donald Duck getting walked in on in the bathroom, even though he doesn't wear pants in his everyday life? <laughs> God, you can emotion sound like well, the sound of anger. You know, well, I easy. think it's more like the sound of jealousy. Uh, That's the sound of trepidation, you moron. No, I mean you can trepidatiously envy someone. <laughs> I really want what he's got, but I'm a little bit nervous about it. Ow! Sadness. No, come back. That wasn't the sadness sound, but it does work for that. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, is that what caused the sadness? No, come back. I hit him. Hey, I'm already in this spot. It's fine, I didn't clutch claw it. I just shot it with arrows. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, you're using a bow. You a bowman. And, and, and arrows. It's it's a combination. You can't just have the one. Yeah, I guess I guess the arrows. I guess the arrows is <laughs> I wish it was called that, like Zon Shield Bow and Arrow. Yeah, it should be. I mean you use the arrow as a melee weapon sometimes. I don't see why you wouldn't. I can't believe this is happening. I'm being killed by Rage Gaming videos. I thought I'd seen the last of him six years ago. But I still watch every one. Where did you go? I fell off. Ah! Ooh! I did not think he was going to go that far. Hey, there's no lengths that Anginef won't go to to win his fights. You goddamn what? He's jumping. Uh oh. Why is he jumping? You're not down there. Yeah, you're not down there. What? No, I'm not. He's like, oh, that was embarrassing. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna I heal. See. I'm not gonna heal again for the rest of the hunt. Here we go. Here we go. Why, why would you even say that? Because What's I believe doing? in extreme challenge. Extreme challenge. No, 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 cat. Oh, no. Oh, 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 Rathalos oh, turf war. Rathalos turf war. Oh, hey, stop! Don't do anything. Whoa! Hold your horses. Rain in your knees. Calm your donkeys. What? Fire a shot at him with your slinger. Oh, I really thought he might be on one health from a turf wall while he's already limping. No, I mean, it did two anyways. Yeah, so. It was really, it was really anticlimactic, you know, after Yeah, it wasn't, that. wasn't ideal, was it? Ay, Roasting! Ay, ay, ay! Ay, I'm roasting! <laughs> ay, be roasting. I thought he was aiming at me, but he was aiming at you, so I just rolled into it. Yeah, I just, I just jumped off the platform and lived, and it was lovely. Oh, you made a huge mistake! You made a huge mistake! I missed. I just accidentally Superman died while coming down the ramp because Rathalos is technically behind me. Oh. I, I shotgunned him in the face. Oh, Anginath, buddy. Wow, we hit him so hard his ribs fell out. And they've already rotted a little bit. That's incredible. And you can see there's a great Jagras mane on the floor that fell out too. Really, buddy? Oh, hi, Rathalos. Really? You're gonna... Ow. <laughs> Alright, cool, thanks, yeah. I love being poisoned. I'm stunned. Poisoned and, and stunned. stunned. And then, like, exploded. And on fire. <laughs> what is he doing? And also poisoned again. <laughs> Rathalos, the hunt's over. Buddy, the hunt is over. Can I just gather, please? <laughs> no, okay. Done. 
No Angina fits for thee! I didn't even hit him once. It's not like I actually antagonized him personally. Hey, I'm now the defender of Astara. Which is quite fast, honestly. Like, why is nobody that's been here for 40 years capable of doing what we're doing? Yeah, actually, is this the first time an Anginath has been slain? Well, they sent us instead of someone that they thought would be able to handle it, so I, I guess that means yes. Oh. I guess they generally, I feel like the fleets that are here exist more to research than to literally hunt. So we might be the first, like, proper full hunter fleet. To be fair, that is actually true. The fifth fleet is mostly hunters. The others were all laying down foundation. There's like the research fleet, the blacksmith fleet. Yeah. And even even if the first fleet was all like hunters as like a technical term, they were like scouts more than like hunter hunters. They weren't power hunters. And they they didn't have men they didn't have men because I did say hunter hunters. Yeah, I was about to say oh, I didn't realize they they were big into it. <laughs> well, I mean that would explain why the commander never has a weapon in his hands. Did any of them have anything that's got the properties of both rubber and gum? I think the Admiral's rock. Ah, oh, very cool, very cool. I'm ready, Commander. Run through me. I mean, the operation. Well, we'll initiate the, the, the mounting operation. That's what we're going to do. God, look at that smolder. I think he just looks confused. He's just like, hold it together. Hold it together. They don't need to know. You can just see the Zoolander scene. He spins around and then it's that Commander's face. Yeah. <laughs> go here uh, and then Zara is here. And then we go in this direction. How do I know where this is like the entirety of the known world? And if we go like closer in, look, Zara is there. And then we'll shoot him. All right, Commander out. That is a very rudimentary map for anyone who knows what the area looks like, so it sort of feels like there's going to be a bridge and we're going to put cannons on it. Oh, what if it's accidentally arch-tempered Zara right now? Uh, that wouldn't be an accident. I think that would be a purposeful choice. We can't bring it back to base. Oh, we can't drag Zara Manoros back to Astera. I mean, maybe if we, like, we brought enough boats? Like, what would happen if we'd actually successfully captured it? Um, it would have been, well, I mean, we never wanted to actually capture it. It was sending it to the sea, wasn't it? But I guess this one was captured, and then he changed it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what, like, what was his plan? I don't know, maybe he just wanted to research it. Maybe it's the, he just wanted to give the researchers the ability to actually see more information about it and figure out what was going on. And, you know, stop it from just, like, making a, carving a hole through the entire island by just moving. We chased it across the sea, got a shipwreck boat, hunted all over the new world, looking for it. Okay, we, we didn't chase it across the sea. We were about two minutes from land when we first saw it. Look, man, we've been dealing with the Zara for, like, months. It's not at all been, like, a couple hours. We chased it the whole way across the ocean. It was there when we left. Now hit with me. Capture an elder dragon. We're not the handler. Like, why does nobody know the rules? Uh, well, I think that's why she's telling you to say it with her, is because she's concerned that you won't get it. My grandfather boarded the ship and came here with the first. Oh, it's a grandfather reference. Ooh, who's, I've heard of him in the future. He found his sapphire star to follow, like in that story, and I just wondered what he was going through his head as he crossed the was sea. Was his sapphire star the scale of Vulcanic as it would be sapphire? Do you think old magma brains even understands why it's here? It's just Sora waiting along like, I don't, I'm so lost. Like, where the hell am I? I just don't understand. Hello? Uh, oh, it's uh, Commander. Hey, I, do, do you like this paper? I, I drew this picture of a naked lady. Nothing to do with our plans here. I just thought you'd be into it. Actually, it sort of looks like my grandson now that you mention it. Meanwhile, listen, Aiden, are like, what is this strange device? By next moonrise, Zora will be in chains. Why does that sound so vicious? We're going to have this bit. monster in chains. It sounds like this is supposed to be like a story about how you don't like... You don't put take away the freedom from monsters, but it doesn't really go that way. The handler also looks really confused. Her eyes are just like darting back and forth in the background. I love that little wooden. Like it's so like it's like look at it. It's just yeah. It's not even crossing the whole canyon. It's just a little setup, but I mean it works because that's the way he decides to go. Even though he can literally walk through rock. Yes, Grandpa Magnaros. Also, I like how he said it commences at daybreak. This is like noon. It looks like like this ain't no low sun type of setting. It is, it is an awesome visual spectacle. It just just didn't didn't turn out. It is, yeah. No, it was, it was great the first couple of times. Turn out well. It is awesome when you can see like his full-on legs and arms frontwards like this. You don't really get this perspective yeah. again. And he really does have so much shell. Like, it's excessive how much shell he has. It's far too much. It doesn't even look like it's a part of him, really. It look, almost more like a cape. Why is it such a faraway ball? Well, the, because that's the cannon you've chosen to what? do. Don't just run up to the cannonballs and not pick one up and pretend you're actually helping. What? Hunter just ran up to the cannonballs, stood there for a second, and then left without picking one up. He's just making sure there's still our cannonballs, I think. Oh, okay. They've not been captured by the enemy. He's in charge of stock. I'm doing such a long cannon run. Yeah, I don't know why you're doing that one when this one's right here. Not I just good. came in and there's one two feet away from you. That's so much better. <laughs> 
Initially, this one did have balls next to it, but I ran out of those balls. So now I'm trying to use the further away balls. You deballed too fast. I'm almost there. I'm almost, I'm almost there. That running guy real, just ran into a cave holding nothing. I think it's the cave of cannonballs. Oh, the running guy came back out of the cave. Fire! He's still holding nothing. I feel like he's just panicking. He's just panicking! Yeah, this guy is just... A, bar a Barnos just tanked one of my cannonballs. Oh, now he's this running guy back. Is just Ah, ah, sorry, what are we gonna do? Oh my gosh, oh no! Ah, ah. <laughs> I need to go back to the cave and warn them about this. Oh, I got his beard. He didn't like that. Oh, I'm also aiming for the beard. That is the weak spot of every old man. Oh yeah, of course. Once you remove the beard, they're not as old anymore. <laughs> and that's the source of their power. With every hair clip, their power dips. Well, yeah, they always say that w w wisdom comes with age, and age is shown by beard. So obviously beard equals wisdom. I mean, that is flawless logic. The less hair you have, the, the the stupider you are. That's why the panicking guy doesn't have a beard. If he had a beard, he wouldn't be panicking. All right, you don't need to do anything. It's all good. It's all good. Why is he walking over sideways, by the way? He's facing us as he approaches the barricade. He's trying to shield, you know? He's trying to shield, but he's doing it in the wrong direction. Oh, okay. Like, if I just shuffle slowly. He's per no, he's purposefully protecting his shell. It's his pride and joy. <laughs> most valued asset. I'm gonna start using the cannonballs near you because there's there's cannons there for me still. Okay, cool. Put one more in! Put one more in! Come on! I'm doing it! Why isn't your cat helping? But unfortunately, calling a member means that he now takes on- ah! Oh, the Barnos hit me before that happened, so I think it just helped oh, me. Okay! Oh, the cannon! That was quite the slam! I'll go start on this one. Ah! Oh, first ball. Ow! First balls. Why is he just targeting me? He, I mean, it's not, not permanently, but it is a lot, it would seem. I'm getting more Barnos harassed. I've not done anything wrong. Just following orders. What's he aiming his paw at? What's his paw aimed at? I'm just concerned. Honestly, I'd completely forgotten this this stage of Zora, because obviously this isn't the one you get to repeatedly do. This is, this is like my favorite part. Yeah, it is actually quite nice. Like, he's properly attacking the platforms. Like, obviously, you know, yeah. it's, it's what I would describe as lethargic. But you know there is a there is. Oh well, yeah, you wouldn't want to do it like seven hunts in a row, but it's it's a, it's a fun experience, and it feels like the largest scale siege that they've ever really done. But it's more of a cinematic siege than like a mechanically enjoyable siege. The type rock of that his belly exposed looks very similar to the same type of rock on Shira. That kind of beige with the blue veins running through it. If only he wasn't a giant dangerous elder dragon. I mean, he's not really that dangerous. Ah, uh, but he is giant elder dragon. That's two out of three. That's good enough. I think the commander just has like a thing about like just making up stories about giant elder dragons being dangerous so that he can officially hunt them like Kul <laughs> Yeah, he is very keen on us attacking otherwise quite passive creatures. I mean, the main issue is is if he reaches intended destination. It lives alone in its own type of cave where it collects gold. Kill it! Kill it! Take its horn! Take its gold! <laughs> I mean, in fairness to Zara, if it makes it to the end of its journey, it destroys the new world, so... Yeah, but I mean, we don't know We didn't that. know that yet, but like, you know, it's very... Maybe the commander's got the foresight. So you're saying he's a longsword main? He's been restrained for, like, three minutes. Yeah, it's like, what is he doing? Like, just break out, man! Just... Just break out! Are we- is it want us to do something? I- I really don't remember it, like, this sort of, like, stalled moment where- where nothing kind of- he just- he's just- I feel like after, like, 30, 30 seconds of him being restrained, we maybe could have just, like, moved on to the next part of the hunt there. He's breaking free. He's breaking through. Not if we can stop him. No. We can't stop him. <laughs> I love that he didn't swipe at it, he just fell forward. Shit! Wait a minute, this is nothing! Look at you, just safely shooting it from a safe, safe distance. Oh. Wah! Fine. I'll also be a bow. Why did I'll Aiden fire. just say, wah? I'll fire stones. That's much less effective than what yeah, I am Yeah, there we go. Woo! Look at us, two ranged hunters battering their enemy. Ow! Oh no. Zara's fighting back with some sort of sharp, thin metal objects. You got this, buddy. Thanks, I need to wait for my stamina to come back. Sandwi oh, stamina. <laughs> Yeah, my sandwich. I need to wait for my, my sandwich. sandwich I am back. I can't be. I can't be hitting this magma call without my sandwich. <laughs> without my sandwich, I am. I am powerless. <laughs> it truly is the greatest of all sandwiches. Uh -huh. Get, the way he moves from in here looks so weird. It really does. Because the, the bottom part is clearly not well attached to the top part. Oh yeah! Look, it's like disconnected. It's just got to rotate. Oh, that's. So... I think the part we're standing on is his shell, and the inside is like his body body. That's so strange. All right, I'm exploding him. Oh, nice. Yeah, you're just you're just on him now. You're just attacking his stomach with a switch egg. Yeah, I know. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, I say that I'm just rapid firing, close range coding at his at his head spike, and nothing's happening. I don't remember this being so slow. I know. Neither are we 
we're just maybe we're just not doing like enough damage. I mean, I'm definitely not doing optimal damage. I'm just doing my easy spammable combo. Okay, I'm 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 still I'm still here. Oh no! His hand became ghost. Aw, I totally managed to surf his head while he was freaking out. Back, get my baby back up, and then just a, a wing drake just came and picked oh, me up okay. anyways. See, this entire mountain, as tall as it goes, when Zoro stood up, extends out behind him. Like, it's so wide. Yeah, I don't really understand why he feels the need for so much, like, depth. Watch your footing, it'll shake. If it shakes us off inside this, like, deep crevasse in its shell, I'll be really impressed. I mean, it could could still kill us if we fall. I think it says Zoro could flip upside down, you never know. It's possible. He might go on his back, spin. He could spin! He could use the tip of the mountain and just spin! I uh, can't help but noticing we got all the magma cores. Yep. You, uh, you feeling it? I'm feeling like I'm gonna go perch up in the classic waiting location, because we are a mile from where it actually wants us to be. Uh, the Great Ravine, home to various rock species. Like what? The hard rock, the soft rock, the Christian rock. <laughs> um, that classic joke. <laughs> Geological formation. Je jazz rock. Deep underground when the pressure is just right. Christian rock forms. That's, that's that's good. I'm just I'm just picturing like I can't I can't do it as Christian. I'm just picturing like uh, Jehovah's Witness Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> Imagine Dwayne the Rock Johnson showing up at your door. Have you heard he the was... good news about our Lord and Savior? <laughs> Normally I'd just slam the door, but I'm honestly I'm really intrigued, Mister Rock. Sir. Hi, I'm Dwayne. I played the Tooth Fairy in the movie The Tooth Fairy. <laughs> Is. You may not have heard of me, but I did play the Tooth Fairy. That's the most famous person anyone has ever acted as. And I never lost a fight as the Tooth Fairy. That was in my contract. See, this was so weird to me. He's willing to literally be the Tooth Fairy, but isn't okay with losing a fight. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, it's... A, it's if I'm making fun of myself, it's allowed. But you can't make me look bad. Oh, hey, look. How impenetrable that wall looks. I know no one has ever made this incredibly biting and critical observation of Zora and this entire plan ever in the entire five years that world has existed, but damn. Maybe he just doesn't know how to play Connect 4. To be fair, maybe the whole plan is just it is technically a barrier, and to Zora, he doesn't know any better, and he's like, whoa, I can't go any further. It takes him a little bit to figure out that, actually, no, I can just walk through it. I think it's the idea of, like, his whole body needs to get through, so as long as some of them are reinforced a bit, it'll do enough to slow him down. Because, like, if a tiger was running down a corridor and you dropped, like, a net in front of it, it would probably break and be like, whoa! Even though it could easily rip through a net, it, it would give it a moment's pause. Yeah, and then you could fire a larger tiger at it. I mean, the bigger question is, why is a tiger running down a corridor? These are things that we all... Because you're chasing it down a corridor. <laughs> Wait, you're ch it's not chasing you. You're chasing the tiger down the corridor. Yeah, you're trying to take the tiger. It's yours now. I just climbed to the top of this, and then the handler was like, let's try this one more time. That was basically what happened to me. No, but you actually left. I just didn't go anywhere. The screen just flashed black, and I was in the exact same place, and then she's like, you want to try oh. this again? Oh, cool, they're firing the binders. We can, we can help with that, oh, right? Oh! I don't know how I've done this. Okay. Welcome to what I was doing for ages. There we go. Oh, what? You can't just move me. And now I'm traveling via Wing Drake. I'm back again. What is happening? Hey! Well, now it's Nergigante time. We have to be here for this. What's this? Who's this spiky fellow? Haha. <laughs> Cue new age Nergigante rap. There's nothing quite like the original. Oh, yes. I'm not a gigante and I'm here to say it's been nearly six years since the day you wouldn't let Zora be mine, so I threatened to break spine and you still don't learn in this world return, but let's be reconciled and maybe I'll see you in wild. Oh, wow, he really dropped that beat. He's a, he's a powerful dropper of, of the beat. Cause, cause, he, Cause he hit us both really hard with his paw. He did hit us quite hard, yeah, that's true. Yeah, he did. He did hit us really hard with his paw. Thank you for that Vigor Wasp. Oh, I do I do love his theme. I just love him, you know? Just just honest to goodness, nerd gigante enjoyer. Oh, I just had a blast proc. Mm. Why is it zooming in on you for me? <laughs> you know, just like you know. Well, we really got through that fast. Oh, you don't you don't even you don't really I thought you just I guess it's seconds are that you really have to repel him. I think we just did too much damage. Yes! This is the coolest thing the hunter ever does. And he doesn't even do a massive amount, it just looks cool. And that is the most useful alongside player has ever been. And he didn't flinch any players, take note. <laughs>
To be fair, discovering that he can like real time regrow his spikes is is quite the like what the what the hell? God, oh, what a monster! What a guy! What a hero! What a champion! Oh, we're all gonna die! No! He just like accidentally falls through it. <laughs> it does feel like that, doesn't it? Like, oh, the barrier thing's gone. Okay. Well, guess I can keep walking. I really should stop having my shell with nice platforms on it. To an extent, Zora is basically just like New Age Lao Shen Lung. He's just sort of walking from one place to another, and you're attacking yeah, it him. It does feel like we're making a much bigger deal of him than he realizes at all. Yeah, he doesn't care about us. He's just going. Why does it look like this? She's just got the. It's time. <laughs> I left my oven on lost track of it, sir. How? Follow it. Just have someone whose job it is to follow the mountain. Le it leaves a trail of magma. There's also people in the region it's moving through. I've been watching the sea. Oh, well, he's trying to pretend that he's not the huntsman right now. And I swear I've never put on a shirt in me life. And I'm not about to start now. And one of my nipples is slightly up into the left of where it should probably be. And I really like showing everybody that. Have you all seen me unsymmetrical nipples? It's not where it should be on me chest. <laughs> Astera, more like Astera at my nipples. I call it Mortimer. That's right, my nipple's name is Mortimer. Only the one in a weird spot, though. I didn't name the normal one. <laughs> May Safi Jeeva light your way. Yeah, I was gonna say, why do they say this stuff before they know what it means? Because it's the legend based on the tale of the five that everyone in the New World knows that the Sapphire Star guides you. Yeah, but they can know it, but why does it mean anything to them if it doesn't, like, actually, like, refer to anything they're aware of? Well, it refers to the creation of the New World, so it means a lot to them because it's it's like saying follow the North Star is like a, a, a biblical reference to them. Yeah, but they're not from here. Like, this isn't, like, their religion. Like, they just came here and then... <laughs> I mean, no one's from here. It's an uninhabited island, but the story is known in the rest of the world. Well, oh, I mean, the Gajalaka are from well, here. No one, no one counts the Gajalaka. It just feels like they've they've just, like, stolen a religion that was here and made it their thing. No, it's like a creation myth for the whole monster in the world. Have you not read the book in your room? I don't have books in my room. And also, I don't know how to read, so it's very upsetting that you would ask me that. I didn't I didn't think I needed to mention that. It's a bit rude. You Just stop mentioning the color commander. Like <laughs> But out of all the things that you would describe Nergigante as, I just don't think predominantly like, oh, that black monster. It doesn't really like this that spiky monster. That Maybe yeah, that, monster. Oh, that's something. Yeah, like, yeah. like it's he's he's got orangey bits and and purples. He's half like colorful. He's got yeah, so many awesome other bits. features. He's mostly like white if you include the spikes. He's got that's the big true, old yeah. horns. There's just so much you could describe him as. There's so much that you could. Commander, is there anything you need to tell us? Okay, I know you're an old man and things were different when you were young. Younger, but we can't okay this is this is 2023 <laughs> you've not aged well commander i'm sorry <laughs> why is it telling me how to move just in case you haven't worked it out up to this point how would we have got to the maybe this was just another potential start to the game where they just did this without giving you any of the preamble what are you pointing at impatient biologist it's just a rock it's just a what like over there to the right like there's the whole pit Mag and everything magma. and that's interesting and you're just magma you can't even see anything other than normal stone I hot 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 magma hot <laughs> Rock hot. I'm, I need to go down there, but rock hot impatient. I do really like this little transition a bit. It's nice to get these moments. Yeah, it's, I, yeah I, feel, I think there should be more of them. It's quite nice. This whole thing was made just to walk through it once, and it's like... Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's the type of thing they should do to introduce each of the maps, especially in, in like, world style, where they're all, like, technically connected by something like this. Yeah, that's true. So it's, it's nice to see the actual, like, one map to another transition. Yeah, me too. I can see the quest symbol right there. Look, I thought I was the only one who could see that handler. I can see everything. I'm actually an AI. I was going to say, I'm actually right beside you. I thought you meant she was beside you in the game, which wouldn't help. No, much. no, no, she's right beside you. How much would you freak out if you genuinely just heard a hay pod from, from like, behind you? I'd punch her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I didn't think there was somebody in, 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 in the building I was living in, and I heard a sound from a foot behind me, I would turn and punch. <laughs> it just slams into her, but does nothing. It's like hitting metal. She just stares at you with a creepy smile. Well, then I guess you're dead. You're just done for. Leggy, 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 Anna. You don't know that. You didn't see anything. No, I'm saying Leggy Anna's got nice legs. It sounds like you're saying she's got a lot of legs, which is also a weird thing to say. Extra legs makes for better beds. I mean, I guess sturdier ones because there's more points of contact. Yeah, I love how she just shows up like fully masked and then just like delivers us to the research base and disappears. Oh, yeah, she actually does. Like it's, just... like, it's not time for me to introduce myself yet. I mean, this research. But then also, further question. 
There is nothing shown about us in that moment where she finds us until we are fully conscious standing in front of the leader of this research base. Yeah, that's how we woke up. We were just both like collapsed on the floor in front of her, and then we slowly groggily got to our feet. I just think we maybe could use a little bit of the in-between here. Like, she literally says you awake, so clearly we were dragged in front of her, unconscious. And she was just sitting here smoking until we got up. And I had just, like, no time to explain. Got I have notes time. about this. The French the French provisions manager is the fourth fleet leader. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure I ever it knew. Was the fourth fleet, like, supplies then? I'm Yeah, I'm not sure I ever actually knew that. I'm surprised she doesn't have a somewhat more prestigious position than one of the three people here. I mean, I guess she gets a better spot in, in Iceborne, but still. Our fleet consists entirely of scholars. So why are you here? Scholarly reasons. I love how disconnected from everything else that's happening the third fleet is. Yeah, I mean, she's just hanging out and, and you know, reading, barefoot, smoking stuff, you know, living the life. Wanna have my charm around your neck, kitty? <laughs> if you'll stop talking to me, sure. You know, under this platform, uh, Geralt once showed up. <laughs> Oh, Will showed up? I'm not quite sure with the timelines. I don't know. It's such a fascinating base, because obviously it's built to allow for the ship being, like, slanted like this. I don't know if I would call it built to allow for that so much as they dealt with it. So is the timeline progressing smoothly? I have no idea. Oh, okay, cool. I'm, I'm not in the future anymore. Everything could be fucked up. Death, the way you came from now. You've already made way too many changes. I mean, to be fair, Bleeblorp was actually pretty influential and important as a, as our, our leading computer science leader. So uh, taking him was probably not good for the people that are still there. All right, guys. That's Sanjin out the Zora once more. Uh, and also a little bit of Rathalos, technically. Technically. Technically a tiny little bit of Rathalos. It was a turf war. But now then, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe. Subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a god bye. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is. Uh. Goodbye.